Welcome from Northwestern Montana. We're the Buxom Broads. Today's video is going to be called Country Has a Cop. This is Country. Um, he has had some sinus drainage and he's had a cough for close to three weeks now. Um, we're going to take a look at him and see where he's at today. We're going to go take his temperature and move him around and see if that worsens the cough or makes anything better. Let's go take a look. We are going to start with taking his temperature. I have a very basic um, digital thermometer. We are going to turn it on. Um, we're going to be careful on how we put this in. We want to be a safe spot so we can't get kicked. We'll stand on the side. I'm going to turn it on, hold it for a couple minutes, and see where his temperature reads. So we're finished with taking his temperature, and he is a balmy 99.2. <laughs> The next step is we're going to turn country loose, let him move around, and see if he has a cough that is still present. Good. Mmm. It's not. <laughs> Hey. As you can see, Country's cough is agitated by activity, and since he has had it for about three weeks, it's time for us to call the vet and get a professional diagnosis on what's going on with him. We did learn from the naturallyhealthyhorse.com that there are a wide variety of things that could cause a horse to get a cold or have a cough, viral infections, bacterial infections, inflammatory airway disease, a warm-up cough, dust-induced, uh, cold weather-induced, which is pretty darn likely here, mm -hmm. a foreign object, or something called lung worms. So we're going to get the vet out here and take a good look at country. Bucks and Broads, signing, signing off. off.